I've just got my QO100 system up and running. So for those of you that don't know, QO100 is a geostationary satellite. So it basically stays at the same point in the sky 24 hours a day. It, it acts as a basically a glorified repeater and the coverage is absolutely massive because it's so uh, high off the ground. So uplink 2.4 gigahertz, downlink 10 gigahertz. And uh, I was tuning up and down and I heard some FT8. So I wondered if there was much FT8 activity on QO100. And uh, I was getting a few decodes. So I decided to call CQ. I was on air for about 45 to 50 minutes and ended up with about 30 FT8 contacts on QO100. So it's quite a nice little run. And a few people have asked me how I did it. So I'm not going to do a full on tutorial. I'm just going to give you an overview of my setup. So outside on the wall of the house, I've got a 90 centimeter satellite dish. I'm using a DX Patrol LMB with their antenna. And the cables for those come through the attic down into the shack here. They are connected into the ground station just down there. I've got a Mark II DX Patrol ground station. And basically what that does is that transverts the frequency or changes the frequency down to a frequency which your normal radio can use, either 10 meters, 6 meters, I think it does 4 meters, um, 2 meters, 70 sems, and I, I think you can do 1.2 gigs as well. So I converted it down to 6 meters, and I could have used my ICOM 705. You can use any radio, really, any SSB radio. and for FT8, as long as it patches into your uh, computer, has the uh, audio and uh, cat control, it will work. So I could have used the ICOM 705, but I went all out. I've got a um, Flex 6600 down here. So uh, I plumbed it into that and uh, had a little bit of fun on uh, FT8 on QO100. So the only quick tip I'm going to show you with this is like I say, once you get your radio connected up to your ground station, it, it's the same as running basically any other radio for uh, FT8. But the quick tip I am going to show you is um, on your logging software. Um, you're going to find, I use Log4OM, and this may be slightly different on your software, but I'll drop a screen capture in here. You see at the top left where it shows the frequency, mine does actually show the downlink frequency of the satellite. Now, you're going to find if you're using cat control on your radio, it would show the frequency of the radio, and that is the frequency that would be logged. So my radio was on six meters, and there's a workaround for that. On Log4OM, if you go, you can see where my mouse cursor is. This little cog here brings up this window, and uh, you can actually offset your VFO either VFOA or VFOB, depending which one you're using. I'm only using VFOA. And uh, that is, uh, by my calculations, what the offset is for six meters. So fill in that, tick that little box to enable offset, close that, and then you get the correct frequency in the window up there. And it, it'll log the correct frequency when you, uh, when you make a contact. So, um, there you go, really quick overview. That's how I set up um, FT8 over satellite on the QO100.